Hi guys, this video and the next one are about structural elements. We have studied so far most of these elements, so let's make a review. Columns, pillars and pilasters. The first property about these elements is that they are vertical. They are vertical elements that support the weight of the structure and transfer the weight to a lower level or directly to the foundations. The second property about these elements that you have to know is that they resist compression stress. So they are vertical and they resist compression stress. Obviously, depending on the historical period, they are made of stone in ancient times, or they are made of reinforced concrete or metal. Pillars, they are round or rectangular, usually rectangular, and they are usually made of reinforced concrete. Pilares, hechos habitualmente de hormigón armado, reinforced concrete, hormigón armado, pillars, pilares. Columns are cylindrical and usually have a decorative as well as structural function. Can you see them? Columnas and pilasters. What are pilasters? Pilasters are columns or pillars which are part of the wall. Can you see them? Pilastras son columnas o pilares que forman parte de un muro. ¿Las veis? Beams, joists and lintels. Vigas, viguetas y dinteles. What's typical about these elements? They are horizontal elements and keep in a space between two supports. What's the other property? They support bending stress. So they are horizontal and they support bending stress. Nowadays, hoy en día, they are made of steel, acero, or reinforced concrete, hormigón armado. Beams, vigas. Joists, viguetas, smaller beams within slabs that carry the load to the beams. And lintels, dinteles, are used to create open spaces between columns for openings, windows or doors in walls. All of them are horizontal elements subjected to bending stress. Las vigas llevan el peso de los forjados a los pilares. Las viguetas llevan el peso del forjado a las vigas. Arches and vaulted. And vaults, sorry. Uh, there are two or three dimensional curved elements which are used to cover the space between two walls or columns. The pieces in them resist compression stress. They are always subjected to compression stress and are usually made of stone. Arches, 
semicirculares, apuntados, eh, de herradura, en volts, bóvedas. Si podéis ver, una bóveda está formada por arcos consecutivos. ¿Lo veis? Los arcos y las bóvedas sirven para abrir un espacio entre o bien dos pilares o bien dos muros. Buttresses and flying buttresses. Contrafuertes y arbotantes. Buttresses and flying buttresses. They are used to hold up the loads of arches and vaults. Son muy sencillos de distinguir. Sirven, como aquí dice, para soportar el peso, para ayudar a soportar el peso de arcos y de bóvedas. Buttress can be part of a wall and it is used to reinforce the wall and transfer the loads from the vaults to the ground. ¿Veis los contrafuertes? A un lado y también al otro de los arcos. ¿Veis los contrafuertes por fuera? Aquí los veis. ¿Para qué sirven? Para soportar el peso de la bóveda. ¿Lo veis? Aquí habrá una bóveda y aquí están los contrafuertes. Y aquí habrá una bóveda y aquí están los contrafuertes. Los arbotantes son también muy sencillos de distinguir. Si veis, aquí hay una bóveda. Mira, aquí. Aquí hay una bóveda y se apoya sobre un arco. Ya no es un muro, es un arco. Ese arco es el arbotante. ¿Lo veis? Aquí en el interior habrá una bóveda y aquí tenemos los arbotantes. ¿Lo veis? Y en ocasiones esos arbotantes nos llevan abajo a contrafuertes también, a muros de contrafuertes. Nowadays we use reinforced concrete as well as stone to build them up. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Let's see in class.